Okay, everyone, we have Enan's entry here for the 11th annual Super Mario World Central. Um, jeez, I keep forgetting. 11th Vanilla des Level Design Contest. 11th time they're doing this. Go over the rules again quickly and briefly. One level submitted by everybody using everything in Lunar Magic. Um, as well as some external graphics, I think, but for the most part, uh, that's just for fixes to my understanding. Uh, and I might be wrong on that. So everything is meant to look like the base game, and whoever can make the best level out of that, they can do one exit, so no secret key exits or anything. Uh, one level, they can use four sub areas, so like going down a pipe or anything. And beyond that, let me just look to make sure I have anything. Yeah, level's about 500 seconds long, in-game seconds. Um, you can work on it with one partner, so these could be brought to you by two people, but so far not. Um, that's about it. So let's get started on this guy. Okay, and sorry, this is Enan's entry. I don't think it has a name other than that, and Enan doesn't actually have a thread currently, but apparently the official entries are actually coming from, you know, the thread itself. Okay, nothing's changed there. Which is probably one I've played already before, too. At least another one had this already, and I had to scrap some of these for the moment. Nope, this is definitely new. Okay, so I haven't taken a whole lot of advantage of Overworld, but at least erase the base Overworld. I'm going to keep saying here, take a... Like, I know it's all for fun, but, you know, if you're going to win these and stuff, I would say take every advantage you can get. I'm just a player, but pretty everything up. You know, change that intro thing. Other than that, we have Vanilla Plane. And we do have some custom music this time. It's kind of a remix, but, uh... Ooh. I like it. I like it. It's something, right? <laughs> I mean, I gotta get more credit. Man. Ooh, it's a very nice sound to it. Uh, Alright, so let's see if anything's down these pipes. It is kind of very in your face with, or in your ears, I guess, with sound. Alright, I'm trying not to use save states and things as much as I can. If things get Kaizoi, that's gonna change. Or if I just forget, I just have my own way of doing things, apparently, sometimes. So, forgive me. I am. You know what? I'm gonna use them because I don't want to repeat anything necessarily. I want to show off where jumps are hard and everything naturally, but uh, I don't want to have to show off too much of the same like we did in the last one, unfortunately. So, I have this sideways thing here. Is there any way to get in there? Did I miss something in the water, perhaps? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, one thing I can note so far. It's not taking a lot of use of... It's a lot of flat. You can throw in a lot of hills and stuff and really have fun with making things as pretty and nice looking as you can. Bullet Bill kind of forcing you in the water. Nice, interesting mechanic. Could probably throw a couple of fish in the water or something too, you know, but... Uh, okay, you're already gonna get upgraded there. I don't think it's... I don't remember it being the best practice to have power-ups just kind of sitting about, but... Yeah, that, that, you know what, that's not a big deal. I'm not gonna gripe with that. I like the use of pipes on the land. And here we go, we have some slants. Nice, nice. A lot of flat for the most part. I think we could definitely make things a lot nicer looking. Ooh, what are we dealing with here? Can I do this jump? It's a bit blind, but I think that thing's always going to be jumping out if I'm not wrong. Let me let me look here. These save states for the benefit of that. Yeah, I think he's always going to be jumping out. <laughs> Chat says taking the vanilla concept a bit too far, I think. Uh, perhaps. I think, yeah. I mean, it's certainly one thing to take vanilla as an idea and kind of make things that you might see in Super Mario World, but I'm not even sure I'd go as far to say that this would be something I'd see in Super Mario World. It feels like it's lacking a bit of extra detail even for that. Oh, boy. Okay, so we have some further jumps there. I believe that guy's always showing up. There's a couple coins just chilling there. We are using the dragon coins. So that is nice. Very nice. And we're using a lot of the giant bonsai bills. Alright, so these jumps need to be almost, like, as far as you can go. Jeez, okay. It's a bit of a rough jump as well. And then immediately followed by a bonsai bill. And the fifth dragon coin. Hmm. Well, uh... Could have changed that song, too, I think. Or am I wrong on that? Obviously... Sound itself is an external program, so there's certain external programs allowed. Some of the things I might be pointing out, not in this one particularly, there's no like weird 
clipping issues. Like, if we look at the waves there, everything's kind of good other in the corners, and I don't know if they're allowed to edit that still, but if they can, I think you would. Uh, other than that, decent intro. I've seen better so far. Um, we're kind of starting out on flat, going with the pipes. To my recollection, unless the new magic has changed to pipe, coloring is based off of what screen they're on, which was interesting. I don't know if they ever changed that, but... Yeah, we have some floating vines to, uh, nowhere. And not a lot of secrets to be had. Not a lot of secondary character, uh, areas to be had, really. So overall, I think this, uh, this could use some work. And I think you guys do have till March to resubmit these, so... I would... I, I think you've got a alright baseline here. I would... I would take advantage of using some of those... External areas here. You have a pipe, and unless I haven't found the exit properly, I, you don't have a thread, so I can't really know. Um, I would have a secondary area that would pop you out and shoot you out of that, and then maybe lands you on one of these, you know? I don't know. Just, these are my thoughts, but, uh, again, just coming from a player's perspective, I think you could add a fair amount to this, and it would be okay. And, uh, I think my only, my only gripes with difficulties, like, this is consistent, it seems like, but... If that Piranha Plant's not consistent, that's a bit of an unreasonable jump to expect uh, people to have just a leap of faith with. And there is it's kind of a lot of that going on. Um, and I'm not sure where difficulty really stands, but as far as an enjoyable process goes, it's not the best to have to expect those kind of things. You gotta think, like, what might the player do? If I had another shell and I shot at that Koopa, I mean, why would I do that? It kind of is obviously telegraphing that, but I'm just saying, like, no. I don't know. I think this could be, I don't know. I'm not going to throw suggestions out there that are too abnormal, but yeah. It's dying for some slopes. Yeah, it's definitely dying for some hills, I would say. Um, other than that, I think we're going to move on to our next ones. This has been Enon's Hack. I'm going to move back on to a couple I've already visited tonight on stream, but that I want to properly preface uh for the sake of youtube so we're gonna move on to those and i'm gonna be 